Welcome to this uh, technology demonstration. Uh, this is Dan Kirkbride. Um, we're going to be talking today about printing off an EOCA from Skyward. So today we'll be following this guide that you can find on Info Center. If you go to Info Center and go to your either grade level or content area, once you get in there you'll see on the right hand side there is a, a link that says giving district assessments. So we'll be following this and going into the gradebook, creating an assignment, attaching the district assessment, and then going to the reports and finding where we can print off a hard copy as well as an answer key. And this will allow us to not only have a hard copy of our EOCA, but once we have that copy, we can print them and give those EOCAs to our students uh, so they can complete them by hand or manually on a you know Scantron or something like that. So here we are in Skyward. We're going to go to the teacher gradebook and from there we're going to choose a class with which we are going to uh, assign an EOCA and then get that printed. So we'll go into the class. First thing we're going to do is we're going to add an assignment and we're going to put it in the right category um, here in this case it's the EOCA give it a description I'm just going to be very general here and then we're going to go over to the right hand side and we are going to under this options menu attach a district assessment in there we should see the district assessments that are associated with our section if we don't see anything in this area here, uh, then it hasn't been assigned to your section or it's in the wrong section number, and you'll need to contact Skyward Help and uh, make sure that, that um, you do have access to it. <clears throat> so in here, we're going to select the EOCA that we want to give and then click Attach to Assignment. And if we plan on giving this uh, as a paper pencil test, one of the things that we're going to want to do is click this button right here that says do not make available in student access. If we do want to give it to our students online, we'll leave that open. We'll define the date, range, and time that we want them to be able to have access to it. And also define you know, a few other parameters. We can say how many questions we want per page. We can say when we want it to display the results. But for now, we're just going to click Do Not Make Available in Online Assignments. That means they won't be able to access it online. <clears throat> and then we will click Save and Back, and that should take us back to the assignment. We're going to uh, change any other parameters that we want to, the assignment date, the due date, and all that kind of stuff that we do for our normal assignments. And when we're all the way done, we'll click Save and Back and that will take us back to our gradebook and here is that EOCA that we just assigned and in order to print that off we're going to click on that it'll take us to the assignment details and then I'm going to go over here to report and I'm going to click on district assessment reports and that'll bring up this screen right here where I can choose to print off a hard copy of a blank district assessment that'll give me the EOCA as it would be if I wanted to give it to my students. I could also print off an answer key and that is going to be the EOCA with the answers indicated on it and once I've chosen what I would like to print off probably one of each might be the best way to go. I'll hit print it'll go up into the queue and once it's finished in the queue I can click on view report and here is my EOCA as it would be if I were to give it to my students as a hard copy. From here I can do a quick print from this PDF. If I want the answer key I can choose that option here in that drop down menu and hit print. Now that that's ready to go I'll hit view report and here it is with the answers indicated. Uh, some of these questions here are constructed response so there won't be any answers there but if there are answers able to be indicated they will be there and we can take a look at that. 
So that is how you can uh, print off an EOCA from Skyward. If you have any other questions, go ahead and uh, send an email to skyward at cdaschools.org, and uh, we will get you the help that you need. Thanks.